Our political system is designed specifically to benefit the elite, leading the average citizens to suffer. All of the alumni of mega corporations in every single sector take the highest positions of power in government, lobbying, aka legal bribery. No bid contracts and schemes such as bailouts exacerbate the growing power of the super wealthy. The average citizen will, as always, be forced to pay higher taxes while simultaneously receiving less. This is the new world. Record U.S. wealth gap fueled by disparities in housing recovery. This should surprise nobody. However, I find it interesting that they call it a problem with the housing recovery. That's really what's going on here. I'll get into why this is happening and the real reason. They're not really getting into it. But let's just take this fact for now. The income gap between the U.S. richest and poorest metropolitan regions has reached its widest on record. And you can see this with luxury housing in an absolute boom. Boom. You could see the most expensive houses ever are being sold right now. At the same time, you have more people dependent on the government than ever before. This is a growing disparity. Now, you may say this is just the U.S. problem, but you need to realize it is a worldwide issue. Canada's wage gap at record high, and that's according to the OECD. Now, this, of course, was back in 2012, this information. However, it's still present today. Nothing has changed. And of course, it's not just Canada, too. Income inequality soars with five U.K. families wealthier, wealthier than the bottom 20%. You're looking at maximum disparity happening. Now, why is this the case? Let's get into that. There is a disparity between the amount of money that we earn and the cost of housing. That's what I wrote about in the Money GPS, my book, talking about how, you know, usually after a few years worth of your income, if you were to save that up, you'd be able to buy a house. But now it takes essentially forever because it is simply unaffordable. Now, this has gone on in many areas around the world, particularly in Canada where I live, where it's nearly impossible to buy out uh, your home and people have extended themselves to a great degree. Why is this the case? Well, you have low interest rates and it's basically fueling a bubble and this is happening in all different sectors. Housing is just one of them and that's what you do. When you employ these monetary and fiscal policies that are reckless, you're going to get bubbles that form, you're going to get a disparity because these individuals like Warren Buffett, for example, they don't pay taxes like you and I do. They get sweetheart deals, like for example, with the Bank of America purchase that he did. Let's get into that. Buffett, champion of the bailout, is also a leading beneficiary. So Buffett was saying, you need to bail out these companies. You have to bail them out. Protect the people. Protect the savings. So on and so forth. But let's look at the bottom here, if you don't mind if I just scroll down. Right here. He has stock worth more than $13 billion in the top recipients of TARP funds, including Goldman Sachs, U.S. Bank Corp., American Express, and Bank of America. So sure, he's going to say bail them out because, of course, he is the leading beneficiary. Now, of course, they didn't bail out Berkshire Hathaway, but they bailed out the companies who own them. Now, that's just that's exactly the same that's the way this works now eric schmidt he's saying a similar thing look you need to take care of the people oh don't tax the individuals tax the big corporations yet they're paying nearly zero percent tax google doesn't pay any tax nearly any tax and this is basically public information and nothing happens he basically laughed it off and told them that's just the way it is that was public that information is public this is the way this works you have the individual citizens suffering and you have the wealthy continuously getting more wealthy that's just the way it works and it's happening more now than ever it is extremely rampant right now it is accelerating and we have a big problem on our hands i hope you like this video 
and that you'll give it a thumbs up. That signals to me that you like this information. You want me to bring on more videos. So please do that if you can. And of course, don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. You may know all of this information. You may have heard it all before, but those on your Facebook and your Twitter and all your other social media, they may do, may not know this information and it is important to share that with others. And don't forget to become an insider. The insiders is where I give out all my best information. A lot of it is a continuation of what I did in my book and on these videos as well and it's totally free it's at the money gps.com you scroll down to the bottom you fill in your email address and you get occasional emails from me